Hey, how you doing? Thanks for joining me here today. My name is Chris, and what I'm going to talk to you about today is phaser addition. Before we get to phaser addition, what we're going to talk about is actually adding triangles together. Um, so, in a previous video, you've gone through Pythagorean's theorem. You've figured out how to use trigonomic functions to solve all sides of these triangles. What we're going to talk about is how to combine these two and to create a super triangle. Uh, one thing about adding triangles, I'm going to call it that for now because we're not going to call them phasers yet, is I can't add things that are at different angles. But what I can do is add similar angles. So for example, on our two triangles, we have an adjacent, or sorry, not adjacent, we have a, a base of 10. We have a base of 5. We could also call it our horizontal of 10, horizontal of 5. We have a vertical of 6 and a vertical of 7. I can add horizontals and I can add verticals. What I can't add is the two hypotenuse. So if we create our super triangle here, our resultant triangle, we should see a total horizontal of 15. Okay? We should see a total vertical of 13. And if I was to apply my Pythagorean's theorem, a squared plus b squared equals, hold on, should be about 19.85. Okay? So, once I've achieved this, I could use my SOHCAHTOA, I could use my trigonomic functions, and I could figure out all missing angles on my resultant triangle. Next time, what we're going to talk about is applying this to a Cartesian plane, and we'll actually start calling them phasers. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.